Hello, I'm JD, and welcome to Nidiots. Alright, we're up to volume 3. Now, I think that camera's about to die right there. This one's probably on his way. This one's still good. So, if that one dies, we're going to lose some light on this side of the face. Anyway, let's just get into it. Volume 3, Jackass, ranked. At number 10 is the Belt Sander Skates. Um, another funny Knoxville one. Uh, I wouldn't call it a classic. Uh, it's pretty forgettable, but Belt Sanders case is funny. Just watching Knoxville trying to balance on anything is funny. Let alone having to <laughs> wrap an extension cord and four pack around his neck just so he can keep the thing operating. It's, but you know, back then they didn't. I don't think battery powered um, belt sanders were a normal thing. But uh, yeah, that's at number ten. Number nine is the Ice Craze. Now. This one is a real Rab and Ryan sort of stunt for me, but uh, the reason why I made the list, um, most of it is just okay, but what makes the list is the end part when Rab is completely naked and he just rests his nuts on Brian Dunn's head while they're skating. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason why it made the list, is because that part is just funny. And then for Ryan Dunn to like, spread his legs and let <laughs> Rab's bare ass just skid on the ice, which would have hurt like a motherfucker. And then they dump ice on it. Yeah, yeah, number number nine. It's a it's a solid number nine. Number eight, because it was so early on in the uh, DVD that I got in my region. Uh, it's the chemical spill. That was actually my number one spot while making this list. Once I watched it, because you know only percent ones to show by then. But the chemical spill is fucking great. It's simple, but it's effective. It's just Rake Young and Johnny Knoxville with a chemical bottle and when they drop it, it leaks something. It's, it's nothing harmful unless you're right there with it. But the fact that you see them in full hazard suits, or biohazard suits, whatever you want to call it, and <laughs> when they drop it, just watching everyone leg it, it's just funny. And like since Rake is, you know, a chemist, like he he can use all the technical terms to make it sound like more realistic. So instead of just saying, oh we spilled some chemicals, that wouldn't make it believable. But the fact that he's He's like giving the full protocol, like announcement that he would give onto the walk, onto the phone or walkie talkie, whatever you want to call it. Um, if that had happened, just makes him more believable and funny. So that's why you're number eight. Number seven is BMX Polo. Uh, this one involves let me let me try to do this: Johnny Knoxville, Bam Margera, Deco, Phil, and Ryan Dunn. And I think Jess and April watching. You chuck a BMX in any sport. It makes it funny. Especially that one. And then when Bam or Deco it is, one of them just hits Knoxville right on the shin with the fucking hammer. That's savage as fuck. But yeah, it's a funny stunt and I, I recommend you check it out. Alright, number six. This is one of my wife's favourites. The security guard. Um, this is a Steve-O stunt and it is hysterical. Because you got Steve-O playing the character of Sugio, is what his name is. <laughs> And he's gone and got this shitty, cheap, fucking security guard suit, which is not even the uniform that that town uses. And he manages to convince this guy that he works with him, and he ends up being able to ride the security, like, it's really just a golf caddy, but the security cart. And he has this guy completely convinced that he's a new staff member. Like, there's even that line where he's like, so how long have you been working here? And the guy's like, it's my first day. And he's like, oh, you've been training me on your first day. Like, the fact that it's his first day, I think, is what made it easier for that guy to buy the fact that maybe there's a second staff member, but it's just funny. And Steve-O is funny. It's one of the few public pranks things that Steve-O actually does, in the sense where he's, like, got dialogue and he's not just falling down or something. And it's one of Steve-O's better pranks. Number five is Dutch BMX. Alright, so you got Chris Pontius and you got Joe Knoxville. Joe Knoxville's riding it, Pontius is in it. It's like a reverse trailer? bike so you, you instead the bikes at the back and the trailers at the front it's really weird but it's just really funny watching them going down things that it shouldn't be going down I mean, run into things that it shouldn't be run into and yeah it's just funny and watching the camera man get hit at the end is a good laugh too <laughs> number four could have been easily my number one it's bloody carpet bloody carpet is fucking brilliant you got Johnny Knoxville and they've smeared blood on the carpet and this other guy that I don't know his name and they have a carpet cleaner come to clean up all the blood and 
Uh, Knoxville acts like he's fucking hacking someone up upstairs with a chainsaw. Just watching this guy's reaction is just priceless. And then with Knoxville rolling down the uh, stairs naked, that's another funny bit. But yeah, that that's a good one. So check that one out. Number four. Please, I'm taking you care of not I'm taking it care of it. No, no. <laughs> If you know what's good for you, you'll keep this to yourself. All right, we're in the top three. If it sounds like I'm rushing it, it's because I know that that camera is going flat. And if I lose this part of the light, it's going to look shit. So number three is going to be Johnny Knoxville, 90 years old. Um, watching him play an old man, like we now know him as Irvin Zisman, but at the time it didn't have a name. But the old man is one of the... I would probably say it's one of Knoxville's favourite things to do because... Especially these days, because it's the only time you can really get out in public and prank people. And I wouldn't be surprised though now that after Bad Grandpa, if people don't pick out, oh look, it's Irvin Zisman. But um, yeah, basically he gets into a fight with Spike, who is dressed up as a fat old man, and like talk about owing money and shit. Then like you got other clips of him making out. But the funniest part is any time Knoxville just falls down, like. Uh, I think I heard an interview once that if he felt he wasn't getting the reaction he wanted, just fall down and then you usually get a good reaction out of it. So that's why you're number three. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Alright, number two was number one for most of this DVD until, well, something else came in and I was like, well, you have to win. But number two is Office Chairs. Uh, office Chairs is just fucking hysterical and especially, once again, for Digo. Uh, this is probably the only real deco stunt in Jackass that felt like it was made. Something went wrong. Please try again. Hmm. No. Office Chairs is the only one that deco did that actually feels like it is made for Jackass and not CKY. It's the only real Jackass feeling um, stunt that they did. It's just got that kind of humour to it. Uh, but... Watching Deco at the top with the keyboard, uh, with the line, oh, these documents need to get done on time, I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's just fucking hysterical. And <laughs> that's what makes the stunt, like, that's what makes that my number two. It's not watching Bam, like, you know, skate in a fucking suit shirt, uh, that's not it. Or suit jacket, but it's, it's watching Deco go down that drop-in on a fucking office chair. That's why you got number two. <laughs> These documents need to be done on time, let me tell you that. <laughs> Alright, time for number one. Number one is Dave England's The Omelette. Yes. The Omelette is probably the stunt of the Jackass series. Um, and uh, that's a pretty bold statement to make, but I, I stick by it uh, until I change my mind in a future ranking. We don't know. But watching Dave England say that he's going to make an omelette, and at first, like, I don't remember what my reaction was when I first watched it, but I feel like if I watched it these days and I saw him say we're going to make an omelette, I would have thought maybe, oh, all right, so maybe he's going to make an omelette while getting kicked in the nuts, or maybe there's going to be a shock collar attached to him. That camera just died. Um, yeah, maybe there'll be a shock collar attached to him. But, no. He's chewing up the food, puking it out, and then cooking it. That's like a what the fuck moment right there. It's fucking disgusting. But it's great. <laughs> Watching Knoxville's reaction to all this shit going down is just hysterical. And there's one part where after he's cooked it and he's in, he takes this one bite and there's this one reaction that Knoxville does and he's got his sunglasses over a full biohazard set. So you can't even see his face, but his body movement tells you everything you need to know about that stunt. And it's just, it's a classic. That is a one of a kind jackass stunt and Dave England, good on you. Cause that, to me that is Dave England's to this day, maybe even greatest stunt. Oh. Uh, Done. But uh, we'll find out in future ranking. <sighs> but alright, time to talk about the MVP. The MVP has to be Johnny Knoxville with 22 points. There is not enough Jackass content 
on YouTube when it comes to reviews. And that is why I'm doing this. And yes, I have finally started getting to work on my review for Ming Hags. And fuck, man, it's a hard movie to get through. I'm JD. You've been watching Idiots. JD out. Alright, that about wraps up our show this week. Next week, pizza.